to end users to find out really what they wanted in the next generation of extractors. A couple things came out. Number one, they wanted something that could transport all the tools they needed from the storage area to the job site and back. Number two, they wanted something that was easy to operate. So our engineers set out to design the Dominator series with those things in mind. So you'll notice a couple features that really speak to that. For instance, on the bottom, there's a drip tray. The wand sits in the drip tray, and it's strapped in here in this recessed area at the front of the machine. The freshwater solution tank is accessed from the front of the machine for easy filling. All the controls for the Dominator series are on the front of the machine. You have the adjustment for the PSI, the PSI gauge, the heat control, the vacuum controls, and the pump switch. Your vacuum intake is right here, and your solution connection. Around the PSI gauge on your Dominator extractor, you're going to find two blue lines. The blue line around the top that has a picture of a carpet wand at the end of it. The blue line at the bottom with the hand tool next to it indicates the ideal range to operate your Dominator if you're using a hand tool for spotting or upholstery. To adjust the pressure on your Dominator, turn the gold knob located below the PSI gauge. By turning the gold knob counterclockwise, you'll lower the pressure. By turning the gold knob clockwise, you'll raise the pressure. On the top of the Dominator, you'll find a molded spot for a pint bottle of chemical, as well as a place to put a five gallon bucket, which many carpet cleaners use to get all their tools and chemicals from the storage area to the job site. Additionally, if you don't have the optional hose wrap on the front of the machine, you can actually wrap the hose around the five gallon pail and transport it to the job site on top of the Dominator. On the back of the Dominator, you'll find two wheels at the base of the handle that allow you to transport it in and out of a van easily. You'll also find a toilet height dump that allows you to dump into any standard toilet. Additionally, on a heated unit, you'll find two power cords. The power cord on this side, which would be on an operator's right, operates the pump and the vacuums. The cord on this side, which would be on an operator's left, operates the heating unit. It's very important when you're operating a heated extractor that you find two separate circuit breakers. This will keep you from popping circuit breakers and allow you to complete the job as quickly and easily as possible. On a non-heated unit, you'll only have one cord, the cord on the right-hand side. To begin using your Dominator extractor, follow these steps. Plug the machine in. If you're using a heated unit, find two separate circuit breakers. Then, connect the vacuum hose and the solution hose. Turn your pump on, turn your vacuums on, and if you're using a heated unit, turn the heater on. When you're operating the wand, make sure that you're not bending over rock forward and make a two to three foot stroke, spraying going forward and recovering coming back. Be certain that you let go of the trigger and pull back an extra couple inches because there is a small gap between the jets and the recovery area on the wand. By pulling back and stopping and then letting go of the trigger, you're going to leave water in the carpet that will result in either a clean streak or a dirty streak. So always let off the trigger and finish the final couple.